Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 movie quotes of the century so far. I wish I knew how to quit you. For this list, we're looking at the most iconic movie lines to come out of the 21st century. Since some of these quotes are related to their movie's plot, there is a spoiler alert ahead. Did we leave out your favorite movie quote? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Taken. Liam Neeson's character, Brian Mills, delivers this line over the phone to his daughter's kidnapper. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. It's a monologue for the ages, where rather than threaten the kidnapper, the CIA officer highlights his skill set with chilling effectiveness. After Neeson's done with his speech, we look forward to watching the rest of the movie to see him back up the claims that he makes. I will find you, and I will kill you. The scene is so awesome that it helped Liam Neeson jumpstart a successful action movie career for the next decade after Taken's release. Number 19. What is this, a center for ants? Zoolander. In the early 2000s, Ben Stiller was at the peak of his comedy game, starring in movies like Meet the Parents and Zoolander. Playing dim model Derek Zoolander, Stiller is able to go in outlandish directions saying the craziest things. I became... What? Bulimic. You can read minds. Zoolander is a shallow bimbo who doesn't quite put things together, yet he wants to pay it forward by setting up a facility dedicated to children's literacy. What is this? A center for ants! When he's presented with the model for the building, he thinks it's the actual school and doesn't like what he sees. What follows is a hilarious meltdown where the vapid celebrity goes full diva. Number 18, I want to play a game. Saw. This line is part of a message that Amanda finds where she finds out that she's about to play one of Jigsaw's gruesome, violent games. I want to play a game. If you're tied up in a dingy room and a puppet on a grainy video says he wants to play a game, you know it's not going to be a fun game. The simple declaration adds to the creepy minimalism that plays in the scene. Look around, Amanda. Know that I'm not lying. You better hurry up. Live or die. Make your choice. Tobin Bell, the actor who played Jigsaw, delivers his lines with a gruff voice that is the stuff of nightmares. Number 17, vote for Pedro, Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite came out in 2004, the same year as Anchorman and Mean Girls, which helped make 2004 a great year for quotable comedies. Napoleon, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. This independent film is full of great quotes from quirky, colorful characters like Kip and Uncle Rico, but perhaps Vote for Pedro is the most enduring line. It's the simple slogan for Napoleon's classmate and best friend Pedro, who is running for class president. Vote for, Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. The slogan is as laid back and low-key as the character of Pedro, and the minimalist quality is part of the charm. Number 16. I drink your milkshake. There will be blood. Inspired by real-life congressional testimony from the Teapot Dome hearings, the milkshake line comes at the end of the movie. If you have a milkshake, and I have a milkshake, and I have a straw, there it is, that's a straw, you see. Daniel Plainview, played by Daniel Day-Lewis, is an oil man that has conned Eli, played by Paul Dano, out of oil from land promised to him. To explain how he scammed his victim, Daniel uses a milkshake analogy which clarifies an otherwise complicated concept. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up! Day-Lewis won his second Best Actor Oscar for this role, and this scene undoubtedly helped secure this win. The way he says the milkshake line makes what could have been a weird moment instead the ultimate way of saying you owned your opponent. Number 15. Ogres are like onions. Shrek. Shrek is a playful take on the classic fairy tales, and one of the film's central messages is how you shouldn't judge someone or something based on appearance. Ogres are like onions. 
The ogres are like onions analogy fits in well with the central message, which is delivered by Shrek, an ogre who was a victim of being unfairly judged for his monstrous appearance. It's fun to watch SNL veterans like Mike Myers and Eddie Murphy play off each other in this scene, with Murphy playing Donkey, who has a difficult time understanding the analogy. They stink? Yes. No. Oh, they make you cry? No. Oh, you leave them out in the sun, they get all brown, start sprouting little white hairs. No. Layers. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers. Number 14. This is Sparta. 300. Director Zack Snyder made his adaptation of Frank Miller's graphic novel about the Battle of Thermopylae as loud as possible, from the visual effects to the costumes to the acting. This over-the-top declaration is just one of the many examples of Snyder's stylistic choice. The line was featured heavily in movie trailers and commercials, with moviegoers eagerly anticipating the moment Gerard Butler's Leonidas shouts the line before kicking that Persian messenger down the well. This is Sparta! At the time of the film's release, the line was so ingrained in pop culture, it inspired countless parodies. Number 13. What's the most you ever lost in a coin toss? No country for old men. This is a question Anton Chigur poses to a storekeeper before Chigur calls on the man to participate in a coin toss for his life. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? The most you ever lost on a coin toss. Since we know that he's a murderous psychopath, the question is more menacing for the audience than it is for the bewildered storekeeper, who is completely unaware of the stakes of the coin toss. I can't call it for you. Well, it wouldn't be fair. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you did. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. The strange question helps build tension within the scene, which is already uncomfortable because of Chigurh's weird antisocial behavior when interacting with the storekeeper. Number 12. I am inevitable. Avengers Endgame. Having successfully gathered the stones and executed his plan, Thanos came out the big winner in Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> When Endgame was released the following year, Thanos had already established a reputation for being an intimidating villain. Part of what made him such a scary villain was his sincere belief that his mission was a righteous one. Pretty, isn't it? Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And another part was that he was the first major MCU villain to beat the good guys. When the Mad Titan calls himself inevitable, it's effective because all we've seen him do is win. Inevitable. Thanos is such a powerful cinematic character. It's as if going up against him were going up against fate itself. Number 11. King Kong Ain't Got Shit On Me. Training Day. Speaking of scary villains, Denzel Washington turned in a terrifying performance in Training Day as Alonzo Harris, a crooked LA cop who wasn't afraid to get violent. Alonzo, he's a hothead. Last week in Vegas, some Russian starts talking shit, Alonzo, he just snapped. He just asked him this. Towards the end of the movie, Alonzo's neighborhood turns on him, which leads him to go on a rant where he utters the King Kong line. King Kong ain't got on me! The line is nothing more than empty bravado at that point, but when we look back at what he did previously to that scene, it's not hard to imagine Alonzo giving the giant ape a run for his money. Number 10. Boy, that escalated quickly. Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. One of the most memorable scenes from Anchorman was the fight scene with all the rival news channels who acted like street gangs. Begin! There were a ton of cameos of famous comedic actors from the different channels, and the fight was an epic brawl with the newscasters bringing out weapons like baseball bats, a trident, and even a grenade. After the violent conflict, the next scene shows Ron Burgundy's response to the incident, which is this understatement. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Anchorman was full of absurd quotes like this, which makes it a classic that comedy fans quote to this day. Number 9. Are you not entertained? Gladiator. Russell Crowe's character Maximus confronts the crowd with this taunt after slicing through opponents in the arena, demanding recognition for the blood that was shed. Are you not 
detained. However, Maximus says the line with such cockiness and swagger that he dominates the moment and wins the crowd over, as if they don't know they're being scolded. Is this not why you are here? The scene is a highlight in a performance that would win Crow a Best Actor Oscar. The line is so significant that Jay-Z sampled the quote for the track What More Can I Say on his 2002 Black album. Number 8. She Doesn't Even Go Here Mean Girls It was between this line and That is so fetch. And we decided not to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. At a high school assembly where the girls are required to get up and make a public apology to their classmates, one girl gets very emotional with her appeal that everyone treat each other with respect. However, this tear-filled apology is undercut by Damien, poorly concealing his identity in a hoodie and sunglasses, who blurts out this line. She doesn't even go here. Do you even go to this school? No. I just have a lot of feelings. This completely changes the apology the sensitive girl makes from something heartfelt to something awkward and a complete non sequitur. Looking back, we should have known she was suspect when her idea of everybody getting along was middle school. Number 7. I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. The Departed From this opening line of The Departed, we learn a lot about Jack Nicholson's character Frank Costello a ruthless mob boss based on real-life mobster Whitey Bulger. I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. This is a character whose view in life is to take control instead of simply being a victim. It is a bold declaration from someone daring to be original. While Nicholson is saying this line, real-life footage of riots evokes a sense of chaos that makes the line look even more cool and shows how unforgiving the environment was in 1980s Boston. No one gives it to you. You have to take it. Number 6. With great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man some major themes from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy include the importance of doing the right thing and not losing yourself in changes that come your way. And both are perfectly reflected within this line. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. A piece of wisdom Uncle Ben shares with Peter Parker shortly before Ben passes, the saying stays with Peter throughout the series, and it becomes the mantra that guides the tough decisions he has to make. Whatever life holds in store for me, I will never forget these words. With great power comes great responsibility. This is my gift, my curse. The line was already made famous by Spider-Man comics, but appearing in the movies gave it a bigger significance in pop culture. Number 5. Wakanda Forever – Black Panther When Black Panther came out in 2018, Filmgoers fell in love with the technologically advanced homeland of the African superhero. Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever! One couldn't help but feel a sense of pride from the countrymen uttering this phrase as they locked their arms into their chests, despite the fact this was a fictional place. This line is revisited in Avengers Infinity War when T'Challa shouts it as he assembles his warriors at the Battle of Wakanda. Wakanda forever! <laughs> The phrase is so central to Wakanda that the upcoming sequel to Black Panther is subtitled Wakanda Forever. Number 4. You're a wizard, Harry! Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone After coming to whisk Harry away from the Dursleys, Hagrid tells him about the background he never knew he had, leaning in to drop this bombshell. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard! This revelation that Hagrid makes to Harry was a big moment from the first film's trailer, thanks in large part to Robbie Coltrane's booming presence. With these words comes a sense of wonder as Harry's world opens up to magic. We're a bit behind schedule. Oh, guys, be off. <laughs> Unless you'd rather stay, of course. It's also vindication for Harry, after being treated horribly by his aunt and uncle, by showing that he's special after all. Number 3. I am Iron Man. Iron Man. Tony Stark makes the statement at the end of the first Iron Man at a press conference after giving up on hiding his identity from the public. I am Iron Man. 
this frank admission made right before the credits roll sets Tony apart from other superheroes, who tend to keep their true identity secret at all costs. Stark later repeats this line in Avengers Endgame after he stealthily takes away the Infinity Gauntlet from Thanos and snaps his fingers. And I am Iron Man. It's the statement that sums up his identity, and it's the statement he goes out on. Number 2. You Shall Not Pass The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings is full of memorable quotes to pull out for the right occasion. Who hasn't held on to a prized object and referred to it as at least once? But we're going with the words Gandalf the Grey shouted to the Balrog while holding off the monster at the Mines of Moria. Standing his ground, Gandalf ends up making a noble sacrifice to make sure his companions make it through the mines alive, and the scene is made even more powerful by Sir Ian McKellen's passionate delivery of the line. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. You Are Tearing Me Apart, Lisa! The Room This line is a brilliant homage to the classic James Dean line in Rebel Without a Cause. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! No, we're just messing with you. Here's our real number one pick. Number 1. Why So Serious! The Dark Knight Featured in a tense scene where Heath Ledger's Joker gives a backstory to how his face became disfigured, Why So Serious was a tagline that was heavily featured in the film's marketing, including movie trailers, commercials, and t-shirts. He turns to me and he says, Why So Serious? He comes at me with the knife. Why So Serious? The line perfectly encapsulates this version of the Joker, a nihilist and an anarchist who wants to tear down the pretense of polite society and let chaos ensue. It's lines like this and Harvey Dent's line about you either die a hero, you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain, that hit home the movie's dark themes about moral grayness. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.